car sense. So these two look a little dense. Watch David Johnson and Peggy Finnegan on Channel 11 News at 5. It's anything but a game, but the National Kidney Registration uses uh, game theory uh, to match living kidney donors with patients in need in a program called Advanced Donation. Dr. Alvin Roth won the 2012 Nobel Prize for his work in making matches. You know, donor one would like to give a kidney to recipient one, but can't. So here they are, they have a kidney. Here's another pair in the same situation. And what you see is the blood type A kidney could go to the blood type A patient, and the blood type B kidney could go to the blood type B patient, and we get two transplants that we wouldn't otherwise get. So exchange is possible. And here's a little bit of data. Remember, each node is a patient donor pair or a patient and her donors. An arrow goes from one node to another only if the kidney can go from the donor in the first pair to the patient in the second pair. And everybody in this picture, just for expository purposes, everybody has blood type A. Right? All the patients and all the donors have blood type A. So there's only eight pairs that have a lot of incoming arrows. And all the rest have, have very few. And what that means is you can't do a lot of short cycles. Well, advanced donation and the National Kidney Registration's voucher program are improving efficiency in organ donation and saving thousands of lives in the process. Allegheny Health Network, uh, right here in our region, the Transplant Institute, was among the first transplant centers in the country to sign on as an active member of the voucher program. Dr. Lorenzo Machado is a transplant surgeon at AHN, which is, of course, the sponsor of this program. Dr. Bob Nachopra is a nephrologist at AHN as well, and welcome. Good to have you both here. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so it's an interesting intersection of sciences that make it possible to be so much more efficient in how we uh, manage the supply of, uh, of organ donation. I guess the need is, is profound and still there. So they, currently there's over 100,000 patients on the transplant waiting list, and of those, the great majority of them, over 100,000 of those uh, are kid waiting for kidney transplants. So about 120, 130,000 total, but the great majority of them are for kidney. Okay, and they're scattered obviously all over the United States and trying to manage that, that, that need against the supply, which I guess can also crop up anywhere in the United States, has to be an incredible challenge. Exactly. As, as Dr. Machado said, there are over 100,000 patients waiting for a kidney transplant. About 8,000 of them are in Pennsylvania itself. Wow. Almost every hour somebody is waiting on the list and dies just waiting on the list before an organ gets available for them over the all over the country. So a lot of people just die because they don't get an organ in time. Mm. Um, so there's a huge demand for organs and right now uh, there are various ways of getting kidney transplant whether it be deceased donors where you know somebody who says that on their driver's license they put in that I want to be an organ donor and if they pass away a lot of their organs can be used for heart, liver, kidneys, multiple pancreas. Can change and save a number, number, number of number, lives. Number, number of that, lives. That, so one tragedy. organ donor can help about eight, eight other potential recipients and give lives to at least eight more people. Wow. So it's amazing that uh, this the science has gone that far. But uh, still there's not enough. There's still a huge demand and living kidney donation or living donation is another way to try to bridge the gap. So the more living donors we can get, the better are the outcomes. The elect These are elective surgeries. These patients can get uh, better outcomes. They go home sooner. Those kidneys last longer, they have lesser complications, so all said and done, the living donors do very, very well. So a lot to be said if you can make the match, and that's where these advanced donation and voucher programs come in, right? Right, so, so part of it is when a donor comes forward, uh, there's a process of, of um, seeing can that donor donate to that particular recipient for various reasons, uh, whether it's uh, being uh, um, blood incompatible or other um, other uh, immune system uh, issues, some donors can't donate to their intended recipients. So yeah, it might be I have a family member. I want to help them. I'm prepared, but they don't match. It exactly. Exactly. Right. So there's different programs and different ways to get uh, someone still a living donor kidney. 
our our center participates uh, with a national pro uh, with a program called the National Kidney Registry. But there are various different programs. We just happen to participate in in, in that particular one, which is the one that that has offered this voucher program. Okay, and so I understand AHM was one of the first uh, centers in the country that actually sort of went full circle with registering for vouchers and actually having it all work out. Yes, so far uh, we've been involved in the National Paid Exchange Program. A lot of our uh, living donors who participate who do not uh, who ha the donors who have a recipient they want to donate to one person but they cannot directly donate so they go into this paid exchange program so we have had multiple donors over the years who have participated through the NKR but the NKR also offers two other programs one is called an advanced donation program and the other and the second one is called a voucher program so say there is a husband and a wife the husband wants to donate a kidney to a wife this is what happened last year but uh, they didn't want to go into surgery the same time because of various you know they don't want to go through the healing process together and they want to space it out a little bit in time or work schedules or what have you um, so husband said you know I cannot directly donate to her for because we don't are we are not a direct match but instead how about I give my kidney now and six or seven months later my wife can get the kidney back when she really needs it and that's called the advanced kidney donation program so uh, that happened it worked out great for both of them they you know both of them got enough time to heal through it uh, at the same token there is this voucher program wherein a person if say they have family members who know that have kidney disease but they are not at the stage right now that they need a transplant right away they go ahead and donate a kidney and say whenever my wife or my son or whoever will need a kidney down the road the NKR guarantees a kidney back to them wow. at that point. So today I'm healthy, I'm in good health, and I can donate. I'll donate today, but down the road, my family members can get the kidney. Really so that's the voucher. Stuff. And, and this kind of activity must obviously be saving a lot of lives. And uh, last question, just to, you know, how, how large a program are you running at, at AHN? These so days? currently we do about uh, 100 kidney transplants and about 40 liver transplants and somewhere around five uh, pancreas or simultaneous pancreas kidney transplants. Uh, of those on the kidney side, we're doing about a third living donor kidneys. Yeah. So about 35 or so of those hundred end up being living donor kidneys. Well, it is so exciting. I was I was here 37 years ago when organ transplantation yes. was being pioneered here in our region, and it's wonderful to see us still on the cutting edge. Do Dr. Lorenzo Machado, Dr. Bhavna Chopra from AHN, con congratulations on all the wonderful work. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of our region's business right after this. Stay with us.